of all, do you celebrate on this day? Um, I haven't before, but uh, today is a little bit different because I do recycle and I do kind of partake in certain activities that help uh, you know, build the energy of the earth. So I say today is the first day I'm actually celebrating. Sounds good. All right. Well, cool. Well, welcome to the party. Um, have you seen anyone on campus um, working toward reducing their trash? I have. Um, I see a lot of recycling going on. Um, you know, people, they actually use the water bottle things that we have on campus. Those That's things great. are great. That is pretty cool. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh, this is crazy. Oh, but yeah, so I, I do see it oftentimes. And this is actually one of the cleanest campuses that I've seen. Uh, I've been in the time, so. Nice. Um, so let's see. Do you think that you could live without generating trash? Do I think I could live without generating trash? Um, basically I'm not, just land Right. Uh, personally, it's kind of hard because I do have a lot of stuff that I throw away. Absolutely. Um, it's I, a very throwaway culture. Right, right. But I have learned to reduce that enough. I, instead of throwing away clothes, I get away. <laughs> I say I'm working towards it, but you know, it's, a, it's kind of... at least uh, reducing... Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's different. <laughs> Definitely. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. First interview of the day. Nice. Do you mind if I uh, get you to sign that real yeah. quick? Just to consent to actual release. <laughs> project thing in the background. Cool. So what are you working on for Earth Day? Um, well, we have a game and we're selling plants. The, the game itself is going to be a kind of a combination of uh, psychology and um, information on conservation. So you just basically you get about 15 seconds to look at this, then we cover the board and you see if you can match where each of the butterflies are. Cool. That's pretty awesome. So. Um, you mentioned that you are doing like a, a plant sale. Yeah. That uh, well, it's, it's actually, uh, one of our members yeah. works at a garden right now, and he got some uh, seedlings no, 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 of uh, habanero, uh, tomato, and bell peppers. And so it's a name your own price. Uh, you just basically, whatever you want to give, you can get a little plant your own. Very cool. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Cool. Yep. Um, so how do you personally celebrate? Do it. Oh gosh, well, I got the Captain Planet logo on my shirt. Always awesome. <laughs> so, but, um, no, I, uh, I try to live environmentally friendly every day, really. I mean, Earth Day is just one of those things where it's like, you know, I try to, you know, wear something green, you know, say, you know, try and do whatever I can. Um, you know, I, I donate to causes, I'll, like, try and get the information out. And, um, actually, since I'm part of, uh, Terra Mesa also, I would like to try to get something on campus for, um, TerraCycle, which is this, um, organization that'll take, like, candy wrappers, drink pouches, old pens, bat chip bags, and, like, turns them into something new. So, oh, that's cool. So that'll help you reduce race on campus even more. Nice. Yeah. So uh, the club Terra Mesa, like, what do you guys do? What do you stand for? Well, we just started this year, so we're basically uh, environmental, trying to promote environmental awareness on campus and also take care of the garden, which we're, we've been working on. So, um, yeah, that's just our main goal is to try and see if we can get student involvement because uh, part of the, the good thing about um, gardening is that it helps people reconnect with nature and it's been proven to help reduce stress and you know improve moods and you know be more make people more productive generally so we're just trying to do whatever we can to get the word out and help students on campus very cool awesome well so what have you seen people doing maybe outside of the club have you seen students uh, working toward being more eco-friendly i've seen a few students um do that i don't get to spend much time on campus myself sadly because i have classes in two different on two different campuses so but um whenever i'm here i like i just try and see what i can do around so but uh, uh yeah the, i've never been able to make a, a terra mesa meeting sadly so i just basically whenever there's a terra mesa then i just help out so that, that's perfect that works out well thank you for being here today awesome thank you very much cool. thanks great thank you excellent <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> <laughs>
Loading talk. Oh, that. No, um, not much. I, I don't really know much about it. I, I, the only reason I knew it was Earth Day was because I just happened to be on Google and they had the well, Google Doodle, but today was Earth Day. Nice. Uh, they have that little quiz going on too. Did, yeah. you, did you take it? Yes. What did you get? I got a Komodo dragon. Nice. Okay. I was giant squid. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. So, have you seen um, maybe other people on campus participating in Earth Day? Um, not really. I just I, when I got here, I went straight to my class, um, and I just got out. Oh, that makes sense. So. <laughs> cool. Well, you're joining us for the first time, then. Is this is your first yeah. kind of Earth Day type thing. Thank you. Have you seen maybe? Um, I guess just efforts on campus, like maybe to recycle more, carpool, anything like that? Um, or? I know I try to recycle every I, I can, um, unless I forget. But I generally, I try to distinguish which cans go in this thing and which goes in what, that. Um, it can get pretty confusing. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to search for those little tiny um, markings. <laughs> Oh, the little recycle symbol on the bottom? Yeah. Yes. But uh, where is it? Is it on the bottom? The side? Yeah, maybe if they made those a little more visible, it would be easier yeah, to tell. Yeah, because they are um, smaller than my thumb, pinky nail. It's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Pretty difficult to find. Well, thank you so much for uh, giving us some of your time. Do you mind if I um, just have you sign yeah. this real quick so we can sure. actually use the footage? <laughs> All right, so uh, what have you been doing to celebrate Earth Day this year, if anything? Um, I use reusable bags when I go grocery shopping. I turn yeah, off the yeah, lights up up when I leave a room. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do more, especially considering the drought. That definitely makes sense. Yeah, that's a, a huge thing. Have you been personally impacted by the drought at all? Yes, I've, I've noticed the uh, the constrictions on water. You know, I've, I've, I've tried to wash less laundry, you know, I... Stuff like that. <laughs> Bigger loads, less frequently kind of a thing. Yes. Yeah, that yes. makes sense. Um, have you noticed um, any, like, efforts on campus to be more eco-friendly or anything like that? Well, I, 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 I noticed this. <laughs> Um, I've noticed the organic garden, and apparently uh, Mesa is working to stop selling water bottles. Oh yeah, they have that uh, the booth right over there. Apparently, a lot of schools are doing that. I didn't, I didn't really know. I, I didn't either until now. That's pretty cool. Well, and they have those uh, refillable stations if you bring your own bottle. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. noticed those. I, I've been trying to do that, but it's pretty cool. So, um, is this your first year celebrating Earth Day? We have a lot of first timers now. No. no, that's good. Well, okay. Um, so, um, what do you think that Mesa students could maybe do to reduce their trash output? Um, just using more reusable things. You know, bringing their tote bags when they go grocery shopping, using their reusable water bottles instead of buying them by bulk at the city store and stuff like that. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. Do you think that you personally could live without generating any landfill trash? I think so. Yeah, really. I, I, I think it's possible. I mean, it would take a while to get used to it, but but once you do get used to it, then then it's like this is no trouble at all. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Do you mind if I uh, get you to sign a release real quick? It's okay. Just to, you know, use your name and face and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Um, so let's see. How'd you like the movie? First speak? of all, oh, okay. oh, it doesn't It doesn't really matter. First of all, totally awesome shirt. Thank you. I am, I am a big fan. <laughs> so... Nice. So, um, is this your first time celebrating Earth Day, or are you? Uh, it is. Yeah, over? I was was told about this uh, in one of my classes yesterday, and I just thought it'd be cool to come out and check it out. So. Besides, you already have the perfect shirt. I have the shirt. <laughs> Where else am I gonna wear it? I mean. So, um, how do you find yourself celebrating Earth Day? Uh, I rode my bike today. Um, what else? I'm, I work in energy, that's why I'm, I'm wearing this shirt, so I kind of celebrate it as much as I can. Very cool. Um, right. But yeah, I just want to come out and check everyone out. But. 
Very cool. How do you see maybe like people on campus celebrating or trying to be more eco-friendly? If at all. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really seen a whole lot of difference. I mean, but just from today? Oh, no, uh, in, in general, general. More of a, a general. Um, Oh, I see people riding their bikes, I see people on skateboards, um, the bus stop is always full, and I feel like uh, people are trying to do their part, I mean, I, at least I hope they are, so. That's true. Um, have you seen any of like, the, uh, the uh, refillable drinking stations? Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah, people with water bottles, less plastics, so, so yeah, like that's a very good point. I forgot about those, but a lot of people are bringing their own water bottles. Um, yeah, just kind of reducing their usage. So. Did you hear that um, Mace is also trying to go water bottle less? Really? Mm -hmm. I did no, not know that. Now I know. Stuff, uh, selling them on campus. Oh, cool. So, All right. Right on. You know, well, yeah. Every little bit helps. So. True. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, really thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, uh, grab that mic back from you. Yeah. All right. So, how do you find yourself celebrating Earth Day? Uh, I just kind of go into the wilderness and. Uh, I, know, I guess I like, pick it up trash. Oh, pick up nice. a lot of trash, yeah, so. That's one of the, that's one I haven't heard yet. So oh, pick it up trash? Well, going out into the wilderness. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, I, I like to go in the water a lot, especially in San Diego. Very cool. Yeah, it is kind of an odd day for Earth Day with all these clouds, but I mean. Hey, rain for Earth Day. Wait, okay, okay makes so that makes sense, makes right. sense, yeah. No worries. Yeah. Um, have you seen other people uh, doing anything? Particular to celebrate? Um, yeah, I've seen I've seen like little events and here, here and there. Not nothing uh, nothing too crazy yet, but I'm sure I'll see a lot more later on. Cool. Um, yeah. Have you seen maybe like students on campus, not just today, but every day, doing their part? Yeah, too? yeah, contributing. Oh yeah, all the time, all the time. And a lot of the ten events I see, a lot of a lot of cool stuff. Uh, have to do with the environment, so. Anything specific that caught your interest? Um, well, I saw like a geology tent the other uh, the other day. It was really interesting. So. Geology is always Yeah, yeah, all these like crystals and rocks and, and yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, okay, so um, do you think, random question for fun, uh, do you think that, you know, given the opportunity, you could go without contributing any trash to a landfill? Say it one more time. Do you think that you could maybe spend a year without contributing any trash to a landfill? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Living off, the, living off the land and just kind of, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can totally see myself doing that. That's totally your jam. Yeah, yeah, I can totally do. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. So this little audio mic on you, right here, and then this one just go in your pocket. Oh. Careful, it's fragile. And then all you have to do. So these are the questions: Why we're celebrating Earth Day? Do you do anything to celebrate it? Um, do you do anything to like recycle or reduce trash? Go without throwing trash in. And we don't have time to do all of them. That's okay. Okay. And then if you're down, you just have to print and sign. Just allows us to eventually use it on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. <laughs> awesome! And then today is 422. Okay, great. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so Oscar, how do you celebrate your day? Um, uh, just by doing the right thing and uh, picking out trash, so like that go surfing and just being outdoors. <clears throat> and uh, what would you do, what would you suggest to Mesa students to um, decrease trash or other promoting? Um, maybe just for the day, ride a bike or carpool, stuff like that. Uh, Try to implement picking up trash, recycling. And then can you live without generating trash? Have you ever tried to do like a zero trash output, stuff that goes into the landfill? Um, not really, but it would be interesting to learn more about that. Yeah. I'm thinking no time. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then, um, what would, what would be the one word you would describe Earth? Green. Green. Yeah. Anything else to input on Earth Day? Um, just be mindful of your Earth and let's try to have more uh, green to our future, you know? Excellent. And more clean air and stuff like that. That's so, a great idea. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Ready? So, why do you celebrate Earth Day? Um, just 
just to, uh, as a reminder, wait, oh, this is already bad. <laughs> okay, there's, there's okay, the okay. Together. So why do you celebrate Earth Day? Uh, as a reminder of how important it is for everybody that lives on Earth, just to realize how important it is uh, to protect it. And do you do anything to celebrate Earth Day personally? Well, I work in Balboa Park. Um, so there was a huge festival that was a couple days ago, and our our unit that we're in is really important, obviously focuses on the huge events that are going on in Balboa Park. So we participate in that and just kind of have our own little booths that are going on. And as our restaurant, you know, and within the park, it's important to conserve um, the whole park as a whole. That's excellent. And um, do you have any suggestions to make some students and ways to increase their trash? Absolutely. Um, I think Mesa does a really great job of having like recycling bins and mixed particle bins, so just keeping up with separating each thing and any time they have a little snack or something, just to throw everything away. And um, do you think you could live without generating any trash personally? Zero trash outfits? What does that necessarily mean? Just like That means in the way that you make your choices when you consume, so you buy products and whatnot, you try to make sure that you prepare things without buying things that are going to go into the land. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's definitely doable with the resources that we have. And, you know, nowadays so many products are based off of being biodegradable or other uh, great things to help out. So I think it's doable. <laughs> and um, do you have one word that you can say that would describe her? Awesome. Ah, <laughs> Alright, that's it. Oh, Thank thanks. So much. Sorry, you were hopefully awesome. it wasn't. No, you were perfect. There's no preparation with <laughs> No, you brought it. That was so great. Right over here. Over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Right, game, I'm face. Game, uh, game face. This is his game face he's gonna get. <laughs> this is great. Alright, so Miles, why do you celebrate Earth Day? I mean, honestly, I celebrate Earth Day because why not? Why wouldn't you celebrate the planet that you live on? You should respect that and celebrate and appreciate the Earth where you're from. How do you celebrate Earth Day? Um, personally, um, I'm Native American, and there was a cultural event that I usually go to. It's on this weekend, actually, in La Posta. It's La Posta Mipa Days, or uh, Earth Day, over there. And um, we go up there, we celebrate, we do a lot of recycling things, teach people, youth, like other kids and stuff, how to recycle and reuse and other things like that. So, I mean, stuff like that, but nothing much. Nothing much. What would you suggest to Mesa students in order to reduce the trash on campus? I mean, that's hard because that's not only just the students, that's the faculty and the school itself. Like, they have to try and find different materials. I mean, I know they're doing good with the trays that they have in there. Um, they're working with, uh, like, a cardboard type tray, which is, I'm sure that's going to break down a lot easier than a plastic one. So that's good. Um, but as far as the students go, just make sure your trash gets in the trash can. Uh, recyclables, if you have a plastic bottle, if you can reuse it, reuse it. I know you don't want to reuse those too much because there's chemicals or something. But, you know, if you can, reuse it as much as you can safely and just try to keep the trash to a minimum, I guess. And then... Do you think that you could live at least a day without with zero output? One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. I can go a full day without using anything at all. No, no trash, easily. I can go a week probably. Okay, maybe. Well, let's say a day. A let's go with a day. <laughs> and what would you say? One word to describe it. Oh, it's beautiful. I'll say beautiful. I mean, I love Earth, so beautiful would be the exact word I would use. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're great. All right. Well, I'm going to for you, and I'm coming in for a handshake, Miles. Great time. Yeah, no Thanks problem. for being on Things to Do for Earth Day. Let me know uh, what the YouTube thing is going to be called. Yeah, yeah, we'll promote it up on the Mesa page and everything. All right, cool. Thank you. Bye. All right, so why do you celebrate Earth Day? Um, mostly because my teacher <laughs> told me about, you know, I, I didn't really know that there was an Earth Day, but um, the school is doing this amazing uh, demonstration of like all the wonderful uh, things that we could be doing for our planet, and uh, that, that's gotten me into it a lot more. Yeah. And do you do anything to celebrate Earth Day? It seems like you're just starting. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I bought two little plants, lavender. And um, I'm just educating myself more.
And um, would you have a suggestion for Mesa students in a way to decrease the trash on campus? Uh, don't bring in bottled water, don't purchase bottled water, and uh, maybe think about using the bins here in a uh, um, more uh, friendly Recycling. <laughs> yeah. And do you think you could personally yeah. live without generating any trash, at least for one day, if not longer? It would be hard. <laughs> but uh, I think I could take that challenge. Yeah. And if you had one word to describe the earth, what would it be? Uh, um, it's green. Yeah. Lovely. All right, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. I'm sorry. No, no, that was so great. Really... No, you were excellent. I'm going to steal back my mic. Oh, yes, sir. So, why do you celebrate Earth Day? Uh, do you want me to say, talk to you or talk to the camera? Talk to you? Either, okay. So, I celebrate Earth Day because I have such an, an honor and regard for Mother Earth. I mean, it sustains us, it feeds us, it does everything we need in terms of, uh, sorry, in terms of supporting what we need to do as human beings. And so, I am someone who drives an eco-friendly car, I'm someone who believes in recycling, I'm always trying to talk people into stop printing things. So my mind works that way, and I think that we have to be really careful with the resources that we have. So. And um, what do you suggest Mesa students could do to decrease their uh, trash output on campus? Wow, um, lots of things. Do like I do, and when you bring your lunch, bring it in your own little Tupperware. It's a, it's a pain in the butt to... It's, it's a pain to, uh, to wash it out at the end of the day. Sometimes you forget the moldy ones under your seat car, but it's worth it not to keep getting things that are in packaging and containers. I think that's really helpful. Um, I think just, you know, just in terms of their own um, transportation to and from campus, ride sharing with other people, trying to figure out how to lessen their own carbon footprint. I know it's not easy to park here, so you wouldn't have to park if you're kind of trying to figure out uh, how to run with other people. So I would say just a number of things that they could think about. Um, I know as part of Earth Day, um, they've put together some really wonderful tips for students to kind of figure out how they can uh, lessen their carbon footprint. And do you think you could live without generating any trash? Wow. I don't know if I could or not. Uh, I once went to a wedding with some friends who did their entire wedding with um, no trash output. Um, made the dress out of recycled paper and, you know, different things. And so, um, which was in another state, so I think they're a little greener than we are. But um, I don't know if I could or not. I sure try. Um, at home, I'm very careful about that. But I know there's still things I do for convenience that, that create that. But I sure, I'd like to think I could. And if you could come up with one word to describe Earth, what would it be? Mom. That'd be my word. It's our mother. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And your name is Pega? Pega. Pega Matalo. Oops, sorry. Stabbing you there. Can I do the interview with that? Holding that up. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Love it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Ready? Hi, Pega. Hello. Why would you? Why do you celebrate Earth Day? I don't know if we're gonna do celebrate. Because it's Mother Earth, right? Why wouldn't I? I think that this planet is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. The oceans, the mountains, the sunset, the moon, the stars, everything cannot be replicated. Nobody can build the beauty of this earth. No human being can. We have great artists like Picasso, but none of them have come close to this classic, timeless beauty of planet earth. So those things I celebrate actually every day. It's not just April 22nd that I celebrate it, but when I see the beauty in flowers and in nature, um, you know, I... I celebrate it in my heart on a regular basis. And how do you celebrate your day? In many different ways, simple ways. Like, um, I love my campus, I love my workplace, I love my students. So, when I see trash on the floor, I pick it up. There's a trash can, I throw it in. So, like, little things like that. Um, in my classes as a teacher, I give them, you know, uh, we, we talk about the topic of environment. So, currently in my English 101 class, the students chose themselves to talk about the topic of the environment, global warming, and then our 
our next unit is GMOs. So it's the topics that students chose to bring to our class, and that's what we're talking about in my classes. So as a teacher, one way to one way that I celebrate Earth Day or celebrate the Earth is by spreading awareness and spreading knowledge and having my students do readings and writing assignments in which they reflect on all the details about the planet and the environment. And do you have any suggestions to our Mesa students on ways to reduce trash output? Um, one of the things that we have studied in one of my classes is the Pacific uh, garbage patch. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but um, I showed them a video about it, and my students actually had never seen it. And when, I, when they were watching the documentary, and the documentary was giving them a visual of what the Pacific garbage patch looked like, they were like, their jaws dropped. They were like this. And they were like, Pega, does this really happen? Is this really true? And I said, yes. These are not edited video footages. Like, there is this patch in, you know, the Pacific Ocean, twice, three times the size of Texas, that is just us using plastic and polluting. And, you know, on a regular basis, my students see my little water bottle. So in class, we come up with, like, what are some ways we can, you know, reduce things? What are some things that we can do in our lives to contribute, you know, um, in little ways. So my students come up with wonderful solutions, use water bottles, reuse, recycle, um, you know, like I just got this wonderful bag to do my groceries in, you know, um, to reduce the usage of plastic as much as possible, and just to be mindful. And if everybody had that mindset, then we would have less pollution. And do you think you could live without generating any sort of landfill? Do I, can I live without generating landfills? I mean, I think like I have trash around the house, so of course I need to, you know, for hygiene reasons, I need to throw the trash out into the dumpster and then the dumpster goes into the landfill. Um, I think that I definitely, you know, through recycling, reusing, I can generate less trash and less trash goes into the dumpster and less trash goes into the landfill. And again, raising consciousness and awareness is one way I can contribute to that. And if you could choose one word to describe Earth, what would it be? Oh my gosh, one word to describe Earth. Um, impeccable. Alright, thank you, Kate. Okay, you're welcome. That was fun. Yeah, it was great. You were excellent. Thank you. And so, when will I see this? Alright, Jordan, so why do you celebrate Earth Day? Um, I celebrate Earth Day because, I mean, there's... <laughs> sorry, sorry. We, no, it's okay. We edited it, so you can just... <laughs> well, we can start over. I think that's the you up back there. Yeah, someone did. Okay. Alright, well, take two. Okay. So, Jordan, why do you celebrate Earth Day? I celebrate Earth Day because, I mean, there's, there, this is the only Earth we have. I mean, if we're here, we might as well take care of the planet we're on. Um, and for that, I think that's why we need to bring awareness of actually what's going on and how much waste is being out there. And any little bit counts. And then do you do anything to celebrate Earth Day? Um, I mean, we, we as a club had a booth. Um, I try, in general, throughout, throughout the year to use, like, use as least waste as possible. Um, I carpool every day, so I try and help. Um, I mean, it's not so much anything special for Earth Day, but just try and do it throughout the year. And do you have any suggestions for Mesa students in ways to decrease their trash output? Trash output? Um, reusable or reusable uh, non... <laughs> Um, to reduce trash output, I would say to bring plastic containers, you know, bring your own food to school, you know, try and throw as least away as possible. Know what is recyclable and what is not recyclable, so you can put it actually in the recyclable bin instead of in the trash bin. Um, I mean, small things like that would definitely reduce the trash output a lot. And do you think that you personally can live without generating any trash? Any trash at all. It would, it would be a lot of work, um, I mean, to adjust into that, but I think, yeah, I could, if I really need to, yeah. And if you could pick one more to describe Earth, what would it be? Home. Yeah, but where are you going? Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, thank you. That was excellent. I'm going to sit right here and Okay. 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 Okay.
but I spoke with the uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, he did. And uh, this algae is from the old Mission Forge Dam. This algae is from the old Mission Forge Dam. Oh, cool. Basically, yeah, I know you put the algae in here, oh, okay. and a solvent yeah. runs yeah. over the algae. For yeah, you need some uh, good uh, things to do. These two things, yeah. an hour and a half. And the husk of the algae, okay. and then yeah. this, which is uh, ethanol, oil, and uh, a little yeah. bit of oil. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like this, yeah. you can extract yeah. oil out of this and use it in any way that you want. Uh, back. Okay. So it's fuel cars, refine it to jet fuel. Wow. So is there research going on to try to make that a fuel that we would yeah, use for maybe not in our cars but other things? That research has already been done. Okay. I need to make my life further for this specific technique. So, future people studying our lab, we're specifically studying spirit Okay. I want to do it. Okay. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. normal activities. I also paint some environmental pictures. I, you know, inform the public about issues that are really pressing right now. And um, why, why do you think it's important to celebrate Earth Day? So we can remember that we should be grateful for this planet that is in the perfect alignment to support life and that we should protect it and not take advantage of it. And do you have any suggestions to the Mesa students and ways for them to reduce their landfill on campus? Definitely use canvas bags, obviously, when you go grocery shopping. Try not to buy, uh, buy so many packaged foods. Use containers of your own when you go to the store. And definitely don't use plastic water bottles. Reusable. And if you, do you think you could personally live without generating any trash at all? Potentially, yes. And what is one word you would use to describe her? Home. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Sterling. Thanks. That's awesome. Cool. All right, get on in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm getting you in some of the 
And like I recycle every day, so that, it's like a normal thing for me, not really a celebration. It's just like, oh, I'm more appreciative of Earth. <laughs> what could Mesa students do to decrease their trash output? Uh, um, use less of the plastic bottles. I see a lot of people with plastic bottles, and I have um, one of those really usable bottles. And that's how I say. <laughs> and do you think that you could live without generating trash that goes into the landfill? Probably, yeah. And what is one word to describe the earth? Beautiful. <laughs> Are there any other comments you'd like to make? No, I just think everyone should try to recycle. Okay. All right, well, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why do you celebrate Earth Day? Why do I celebrate Earth Day? Because every day should be Earth Day, and we all need to come together as humans now, protect the planet that we're kind of destroying. Okay, great. And how, how do you celebrate Earth Day? How do you celebrate Earth Day? Right now, I'm just getting people on board with the movement, uh, but doing as many things as I can to get involved, going to all these booths, signing things, getting my voice heard, finding out information about what I can do to make the Earth better, and what other people can do to make the Earth better. Uh, what could Mesa students do to decrease their trash? Output? Okay, so these freaking trays in the food court are ridiculous. Right? They are completely unrecyclable. It just goes into a landfill and it's not biodegradable at all. So that needs to go ASAP. Uh, as far as recycling around here goes, there's enough trash cans like that. But really, mostly like the students. Like, guys, bring your own water bottles. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to have. You know, we actually use more oil for water bottles than we do gas for our cars. You guys know that? It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. It is. <laughs> so, um, could you live without generating trash that goes into the landfill? Be really hard. So, yeah, we all have a carbon footprint. Um, could I live without doing it? Yes, absolutely. But unfortunately, I feel like I live in a society and in a place where I can't do that. If I lived in like Indonesia, the symbiotic relationship with the environment, it would be a lot easier. But, you know. So I'm so unfortunate to be here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. And lastly, one word to describe the earth. Uh, one word. One word. Majestic. It's the first one that came to my mind. I wanted to say peaceful, but nah, it's not that peaceful. 
So are there any other comments you want to make? Any other comments? You guys are awesome. <laughs> Great. You too. Thanks a lot. Awesome. No. Okay. Well, we good? Nice. Thank you. Awesome. Thank no you. worries. Thank no you. worries. Excellent. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you celebrate Earth Day? I celebrate Earth Day because it's a beautiful environment. It's what we live in every day. It's just something we need to be around. And how do you celebrate Earth Day? Well, today I celebrated it by going to a couple um, stands over at the school. You know, just got to view a couple things that were, that they were having. Black History. I had. I also seen some of the plants and stuff that was being grown. And what could Mesa students do to decrease their trash output? Um, to de de decrease it, you really just need to start throwing your trash in the trash can. And also, if you see trash on the floor, just politely pick it up. Somebody else didn't do it, you do it. Could you live without generating trash that goes to the landfill? Yes, ma'am, I could. And just one word that describes the earth. Beautiful. Are there any other comments you'd like to make? No, I'll just take care of the United States. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Thanks You're so much. Thank you. you did Thank so you. good. Okay. That was really good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. You can look at her. I need to do a question. She's going to ask you. Oh. Yeah. How do you celebrate your day? Go outside and enjoy the day like today. And why do you celebrate your day? So it's, it's a place where we live at and... I don't know where else I would be without it. What do you think Mesa students could do to decrease their trash output? Uh, recycle more, just uh, use the water bottles that are given away at like the tent set up or something. And could you live without generating trash that goes to the landfill? Probably not, it'd be a hard challenge. I mean, because everything's processed now and comes a bag of chips. I don't know how I'll get my chips or <laughs> uh, bread, everything, you need trash. So just one word to describe the earth. Uh, beautiful. And any other comments you want to make? Happy Earth Day. <laughs> Great, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. 
It's a great thing to celebrate. Just we don't really celebrate. It. We kind of celebrate it year round, and then the kids are aware of it. Should we put you the camera? Um, um, and just if they see the, they watch like the PBS shows on Earth Day. They always have the specials. So, my next question is, how do you celebrate Earth Day? It's not that heavy. Um, we just, we don't celebrate specifically on Earth Day, but my kids, we have a garden, and they like to play and, and learn how to water the plants at the right time of the day, and um, just making an awareness of the Earth. All right, I like that answer. Um, so, the next question is, what can Mason students do to decrease their trash um, output? I think a huge thing is the plastic water bottles. I uh, see them all the time, and I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, also printing, just making sure you only print what you need, and try to bring a reusable bottle to school so that you can just refill it instead of, if you drink five a day, that's five bottles that you can bring down to one that you're using for the whole semester, years, depending on what you buy. So, yeah, see if anybody wants to So, the next question is, could you live without generating trash that goes to the landfill? Yes. <laughs> um, it, you could, because if you have everything reusable, the only trash you would really have is packaging from the store. If you have, you know, your dishes, you don't use paper plates, you don't use plastic water bottles. Um, okay, okay. I don't think really, especially since I started recycling, I've noticed that there isn't that much trash that goes into my black trash bin. A lot of it can be recycled. So, this is my last question. What's one word to describe the earth? Thank you. Precious. I 
like that a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the first question. Why do you celebrate Earth Day? I don't really celebrate Earth Day because it's just like every other day for me. That's good. Um, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Like I said before, I don't really celebrate Earth Day. I just go about my day. Um, I do water the plants at home, and I don't like to see trash around, so I would pick up whatever uh, trash there is around. What could Mesa students do to decrease their trash output? They can, well, when they're buying stuff, they should not, like, you know, go over the limit. So, like, for example, when they're getting uh, their lunch in the cafeteria, and um, instead of, like, wasting food or, or, or what do you call it, like, giving too much, they should get a reasonable amount, and um, once they're done, throw them in trash cans, the ones that are by around the school. Then, um, the next question is, could you live without generating trash that goes to the landfill? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, could you live without constantly having trash? Um, like, because it is, it is going to go to the landfill, and then it's going to, you know, pile up and whatnot. So, I mean, could you live without doing that? Without doing that? Well, the trash needs to go somewhere, but at the same time, like, uh, you don't want too much at the, the, the dump site. So I guess you could live if we do find a way to get rid of the trash. Yeah. Okay, I like that answer. The next question is, um, so the final question is, what, what's one word to describe our earth? Earth is like one word. I would say art because we're always expressing ourselves as human beings in society. And we do need to take care of our only home. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so why do you celebrate Earth Day? I celebrate Earth Day because, I mean, obviously the Earth is something that we all interact with on a daily basis. And, you know, the environmental aspect is very important that people don't typically think about. And, you know, it brings it into a light that everyone can, you know, kind of incorporate and get involved with. So. All right, all right. So the next question is, how do you celebrate? How do I celebrate? Well, my parent, my mom always plants a tree on Earth Day. I mean, I used to work at a land trust, so I've probably planted enough trees for like 50 other people on the planet. But uh, I mean, I just try to, you know, bring awareness to like my friends. Maybe uh, I'll share an article on social networking sites, or I'll just talk to people. Or, I mean, I would have ridden my bike today, but it rained, so, you know. <laughs> I like that. So, yeah. what could Mesa students do to decrease their trash output? Um, I think a lot of people buy water bottles, like, pretty frequently. Maybe uh, I've got Palomar Mountain Spring Water contract. They just bring the jugs, big jugs, re refillable uh, once a week. And I just have, like, a big, hard plastic water bottle that I keep refilling, so... So could you live without generating trash that goes to the landfill? I think so. Uh, I worked in Sequoia National Park this last summer at a backcountry camp with no electricity or service, and we have like a very small trash output. So I think like if I had to, I could live like with no trash for a little while. That's amazing. It'd be hard. It'd be it'd be difficult. Though. So the final question is, what's one word to describe Earth? That's a good one. Um, I think just green. Green's a good one for me. I don't know. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.